insane. We're in the future right now, aren't we? This is we the future. So this is a 3D demonstration, yes? So this is a 3D experience. The graphics were created by Alex McLeod, and the audio was created by Dan Griscoll. Give us some audio there. And you're gonna put these on. So this line up here is your beta waves, your focus. Okay. Your focus is really great in this experience. You just made it snow. Nice. So when your focus is over 85%, it's snow. This line down here is your relaxation. Okay. And it controls these birds. So the more you relax, the more the birds slow down. So it's kind of like you're stopping time with your meditation. Oh wow, this is just so cool. I wish I could do this in real life, like make birds slow down and freeze make, time. Freeze time. Like so ultimately this is gonna be kind of the way that we engage with our world on a daily basis. Like voice activated technology is becoming popular now. Um, thought control computing 15, 20 years down the road is gonna be a standard way of turning on your computer, interfacing with your device, letting your house know that you're here. It's more than just being able to control the world with your thoughts though. It also gives computers the opportunity to understand where you're at. So it can know when you're awake, when you're alert, when you're able to receive more information. So if you're studying something, um, the computer can know when your maximum load is and then it can present additional information to you as required or help you multitask. So we start to build systems in which our computers not only become a tool of us, but understand and are able to anticipate our own needs. What's happening here is the seat okay. vibrates when you engage your alpha waves or your relaxation state, okay. and the back vibrates when you engage your focus state. Okay. So right there on the screen you can see the blue line's gone down to relax. Okay. What we want to do is make it come up to focus, and you're going to do that by focusing on the screen. So choose something to focus on. Awesome. <laughs> I let the dots go. Smart in the brain. So here you're, you want to spin the galaxy in by focusing on it. Okay. So the galaxy is spinning. Whoa. Or you can level it out by relaxing. So try relaxing. Lean back, close your eyes. Oh, okay. Cool. Look at what you did. Nice. <laughs> nice. I, I think I'm a lot better at relaxing than focusing. It's hard. Everybody has their own. Some people are naturally more relaxed. Some people are naturally more focused. And most people can connect very strongly to what it is. So they know they're a chilled out person or they know they're a hyper A type. Would you potentially be able to program it so that if my brain waves are at a certain level, if I'm thinking about something specific, it could happen? As in, like, I want to turn to channel 16. So with a single sensor system, you can't go very specific in terms of channel 16. Um, single sensor systems are based on an alpha-beta scale, so it's like a dimmer switch. Okay. Um, but with a multi-sensor system, we can program particular commands that you're offering in, you know, two or three of them within a limited scope. And Trevor has come out to join the party now, another one of the top dogs here at Interaxon. Thank you guys so much for having me today. Can I get a big high five? Bam. High five for thought-controlled computing, yes? We should have done that with our brains, though. Can we do that? Can we do high fives with our brains? My entire career will be changed. <laughs> right now. Yeah! That's the best high five ever. Thanks, guys. Our pleasure.